In this question, you're being asked to solve the quadratic equation once again, and it's only asking you for the positive solution. So it might be one of those questions that if you put the wrong answer, of course, it's going to count wrong. So be very careful and only answer the positive solution. So let's go ahead and work on this example. Once again, we have our calculator available just for the graphing method and checking real quick if we have solutions. We have to check that it's in standard form. And it is, so we're going to go ahead and graph it, 2x squared minus 7x minus 4. And that gives you a quadratic function that is touching on two places, a negative and a positive. So we can trace these values for specific numbers. So right here it says that this left one is negative 0 0.5. And then this right one, let's go ahead and find it. It's at 4. So that is technically the work if we use the graphing method. The question is asking for the positive solution, so the answer will be 4. Um, but let's just do it alg um, algebraically. If you also want to practice it, just continue watching the video. All right, so we're going to have A, B, and C a is a 2, B is negative 7, and C is negative 4. And then next, we're going to write the formula, negative B plus or minus the square root b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And then we're going to substitute. So we're going to have x equals negative b, which is negative, negative 7, plus or minus square root of b squared. So that's negative 7 squared minus 4 times a, which is 2, and times c, which is negative 4, over 2a. So 2 times 2. And from here, we focus on simplifying that discriminant, b squared minus 4ac. So let's use the calculator for that. We're going to type negative 7 squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 4. And that's 81. So we're going to write square root of 81. Negative times negative is positive, And 2 times 2 is 4. So this is simplifying the notation as we go. If we check square root of 81, it gives us 9 as an answer. So that means we can replace all of this square root of 81 with just a 9. So we're going to have 7 plus or minus 9 over 4. And the reason we get 9 as an answer for this is because 9 times 9 is 81. So because there's two nines, it comes out of the square root or radical sign, technically. All right, so your answers are found here when you separate them. Um, 7, 9, and 4 cannot be simplified by a number, so we're going to just go ahead and separate them. We're going to have 7 plus 9 divided by 4 and 7 minus 9 divided by 4. We could just type this in the calculator, or we could also do it by hand up to you. 7 plus 9, that is going to be 16 divided by 4, and that gives you 4. 7 minus 9, that gives you negative 2 divided by 4, which gives you negative 1 half. And negative 1 half is negative 0 0.5 if you want to turn it into a decimal. So as we did this, these answers are the answers you have right here. So that's how you solve for these answers algebraically.